Father, we thank you for this time that you have given us, that we may share your word, how we pray, that your spirit shall reveal your oracles unto us. You will give us divine interpretation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to thank you, our audience, for continuing being together with us as we continue with our daily encounter. We are still studying the book of Daniel, chapter 10, and today we are going to look at uh, verse 18 onwards. Here we meet Daniel when he was so frightened, and verse 18 says, Once more he took hold of me, and I felt stronger. He said, God loves you, so do not worry about or be frightened by anything. When he said this, I felt stronger, and I said, Sir, tell me what you have to. You have made me feel better. Many are the time we are scared, like Daniel was. But when the angel of the Lord appeared to him, and he told him, God loves you, do not be scared or frightened of anything. He immediately felt better and even stronger. Many are the situations in our lives that face us. But the word of God constantly reminds us, do not fear, fear not. We are told not to be scared or frightened of anything. But we keep on fearing the situation, the circumstance, the economy, the sickness that is out there. Many are the time we stop living a life because of the fear. The only fear we should have is the fear of the Lord, that our hearts will be contrite and upright, that we will do what is righteous. But the fear of being scared, we are being reminded not to fear anything because God loves us. We face situations in our life, like right now, many people, their children have done class 8 examination and they are waiting for slots. Many have been called in schools they didn't expect. They don't even know where they are. But God is telling you, keep on praying, fear not. Many other time we find us in financial distress or sickness strikes in our homes. Our marriage is under attack. Our children are under attack. And they are doing things as parents we are not proud of. We are scared of their future life. They have turned into drugs and alcoholism. We are being told, fear not. With prayer and supplication, we can take all these and petition God for an answer. He cares, he loves us, and he doesn't want us to go through life when we are scared. Because he holds us into his arm. He has the whole world in his arm. So if we pray, our problem is looking before him. But if we continue being frightened and scared, we will continue to torture ourselves and we won't find the solution. Christ died for all of us. Christ died and took our burden. And he told us, take my burden or take my cross, it's lighter, and leave your burden unto me. If you, we take our problems, our issues to the cross of Christ, he will take it. And we will continue to trust in him because he cares for us. Let us this time give our burdens, take our issues with him. Every circumstance and situation in life that scares us, if we put it to the master, he is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.